we started at eight. Kitty belly, big kitty face. Hey guys, it's Madame Oreo. There's Big Kit. Um, Odin's back is over there doing dishes currently. 
He'll be joining us momentarily for um, a Patreon Q&A we got by Scottman895. So um, we're going to kind of kick off the stream with that. All my Patreon stuff is super late this month just due to the nature of this month and how much has been happening. Um, oh, are you posing? Oh my! Well, just admire her beauty! Um, but anyway, so I'm getting around to that for these last few days of the month, um, and the question that Scottman asked actually involves both of us, so we're gonna be answering that. Um, <clears throat> all right, Kit, I'm sorry, I have to move this back. Uh, but anyway, welcome to the stream. I'm Madame Oreo, I'm your host. Uh, thank you for all the hosts, by the way. And we will be playing uh, more Animal Crossing New Horizons today. Gonna be, um, the streams have been kind of going in a routine of just trying to take advantage of the season. Um, just being very chill, very laid back. I feel like the Mario Party streams I do are very, like, energetic and there's a lot happening and um, it's just a totally different energy. So I kind of like to bring it back with Animal Crossing and just relax and, you know, just do all the daily stuff and whatever we kind of feel like doing. Um, so there's no set way that I... I've been doing this and I've kind of enjoyed it more in that realm. So anyway, but welcome Mr. Wario, check in. The David Barnes, Casanova 64, Stardev 94. We have Psycho Nacho Man. Um who else? Chris WWE. Scott Man 895. And JG is the boss. Sorry, I'm trying to scroll. Loriocalypse. Thank you guys so much for being here. I think Quincy Crossing, I think I got almost everybody. I think I got everybody. No, I thought I skipped somebody, I didn't. Um, but welcome, thank you so much for being here. And shout out to the newest emo, which is Madam Five Kitty. Kitty got her very own emo. It was approved as of yesterday morning. So if you weren't at my stream yesterday, this is probably the first time you're seeing it, but we have a Kitty emote. She has a little princess slash party hat on. This was designed by my sister, Madam Toadstool, so if you please, uh, check out her channel. She has made all of my emotes thus far, except for the Miss one I made and the icon, uh, my icon I also made. So these two right here, the only ones that I've made, but she has made all of the cooler ones pretty much. So she's made all five of these. Uh, Pinky's been in the works of getting changed for a while. Um, but yeah. So anyway, yeah, all the boxy ones are just me. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys for um, subscribing as always. We reached 135 new subs yesterday um, in our total 150 goal, which is amazing. Thank you guys for uh, your constant support on my path to partner. It's meant the world to me and I really appreciate it. Pixies in the house as well as All Right Angelia and Shy Guy for days. So welcome you guys. Hope you're all having a good afternoon, good morning, all that good stuff. Um, and hope you've been having a good week so far. I've been like really in a weird state uh, with the day of the week. Like yesterday was Monday and I was like convinced that it was Thursday or something. I don't know why. I've just been like not functioning properly. Kitty, why are you yelling? Her belly. Oh my gosh. She loves her belly rubs. Um, so anyway, um, I don't really have any announcements other than Patreon stuff is going to start being shown for the month of July this week. We've got a challenge coming up on Friday, and then the next challenge will probably be, um, if not, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that it'll be on Monday. It'll probably be sometime in August, so we'll just see a couple more, um, a couple more than usual for, like, Mario Party challenges from Patreon in the month of August, but... Anyway, I'm I'll, promoting myself to I'll just the camera. Turn, turn this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> How wonderful. Um, so this is Odin's back. Hey. If you don't knew, if Man, you don't look at my hair. Oof. It's pretty hot. It's all spiky. I love when your hair's spiky. Oof. Bad. And Kitty, you're over there too. She's giving us squinnies. She's yeah. you can't see her, but she's like off giving us squinnies. 
So, anyway, um, I'm going to do a quick credit to my patrons on Patreon for the month of July. If you guys are interested in getting your name up on this credits page, you can visit the link in the chat under the stream or in the video description to join my Patreon family. And you can get your name credited here for a $5 pledge or more. So, that is... Um, that's how that is. That's how you how you do that. But I want to give a special thank you to everybody who is part of this and part of my Patreon family. Um, and we have several whose uh, names aren't up here as well. So thank you to you as well. So anyway, that being said, um, Phantom Tempest, I don't think I said hi to you yet. Welcome. We're going to get to the Patreon question for the month of um, July brought to you by Scottman895. And it is... How did you and Odin first meet, and when did both of you realize that you two were meant to be together? Whoa, I didn't know the second half of this question. You only told me. <laughs> she only told me the first half yeah, of this Yeah, because I didn't want you to be all rehearsed. I wanted you to answer truthfully. Oh, I see. So this is uh, brought to you by Scottman895, who luckily is able to be here today. Um, I try to put these Q&As at the beginning of streams that way if you can't be here for any reason. It's easy to find your question in a video afterward, but but I know Scott Man's here, so um, so anyway, we got a big big romance Man, question. Sweet. I'm sure everyone's super excited about this. Which this being said, I will add to this, you guys. If you're a ten dollar pledge on my Patreon family, you do get a Patreon exclusive podcast every single month. I'm gonna be uploading this month's later today. Um, and that is also featuring Odie. It's kind of along the same lines. It's all about uh, maintaining a long distance relationship in this community and kind of our experience with it. It was just something that, you know, while he's here, I was like, oh, it's kind of more, I think it would be appropriate to um, do something that involves the two of us in that podcast this time since he's been here all month. And I also didn't have a poll this month because of the chaos. So I just took the liberty of coming up with my own topic. But Didn't anyway, I come up with the topic. I feel well, like I whatever. That. I'm just saying that <laughs> Odie came up with the topic. Whatever. Shoe Jazz, welcome to the stream. Okay, so anyway, we need to get to the actual question. Okay. So yeah, do you remember the question? Question is, how did we meet, and how, when did we realize we were meant to be together? All right, we'll actually answer it this time instead of me rambling. Okay. Okay, so how do we meet? We met first at PAX. Well, we met in person. Well, yeah. At PAX. To be, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember a lot before. Like, there's been a whirlwind of knowing people. Sweet. And he I'm sorry, but me. I don't really remember the oh, he before. Just doesn't remember before me. in person <laughs> communications with Madame Warrior. Wow. Okay? Oh, I, girl, Madame I mean, Toadstool's here, by yeah. the way. <laughs> Welcome, MT. I talk to a lot of people. Back and the dancing then, okay? snail, welcome. <laughs> yeah, of course the guy doesn't remember exactly. Okay, well then let me answer right, this you part. Answer that so part, then. I this is so weird this is so dumb. Like it's not dumb, but it's just like I would have never been like, Oh my god, I'm gonna marry that guy. Um I <laughs> first of all, I've told this story before, like bits and pieces of how stupid the story is, but like, um, when I started getting involved on YouTube, there were a lot of people already established, and I was thinking, like, I was being, like, this intrusive weirdo if I was, like, to message any of these people, because back in the day, to me, and it's so weird, because 1,000 is still a big number, but, like, back in the day, to me, if you had, like, a 1,000 subscribers, you were, like, untouchable. Like, that was, like, oh my god, this person's huge, you know? Um, and that is a, a great feat and an awesome, like, success, and I don't mean to downplay that at all. That's a big deal, but, you know, whenever I saw anybody in the upper hundreds, like, 1,000 subscribers, I thought that was, like, amazing. And so most of my f friends that I ended up befriending on YouTube were kind of at that status at that point um, in the community. They'd been doing it longer. They'd been whatever. And so I just kind of went through, like, I started with Slim Kirby. I watched Slim Kirby first, and then I kind of trickled into, like, people he recommended in his videos or whatever. So I heard him talk about Odin. <laughs> and it wasn't even, like, anything great. It was just, like, his name. Like, oh, Odin's doing... Odin's doing some game that I don't think is suited to his channel. And I'm like, okay. That's Odin, really the first that's time... That's the first time I heard is about that you. that one? Literally was that. It was I, when I was playing <laughs> an... Oh, uh, 
mainstream <laughs> she, he goes game. this is like slim's quote we laugh about this now because i pointed it out to him since but i was like the first thing i ever heard about Onspag oh is that God. he was playing kirby 64 or something i think i think that's what it was right mm -hmm. he was playing kirby 64 which was weird because Odin's not a mainstream gamer. And so I was like, well, then what's Odin about? So. <laughs> and I love Kirby 64. It's my favorite Kirby game. So I went and I checked out his channel. I think I watched like an episode or two of that. And I subscribed and I like knew of his existence, but I didn't really pay any attention to him. I was like, whatever. I, okay. He's not mainstream. I'm, and I'm a very, I'm very much a mainstream gamer. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, that was just a funny little tidbit. He didn't really have any other games that I was super interested in, because we don't really play a lot of, like, we play a lot of the same games, but we don't really have the same interest in no, games at all. Sure not. Um, the, our sometimes. common interest is, like, Nintendo and stuff like that. But yeah, like, sometimes, but more, more of the time I feel like we're not interested in the same games. Um, but anyway, so... That was the first time I'd ever subscribed to him, and I thought, I don't think you've done a face reveal yet, maybe? I didn't I didn't know what most people looked like. Like, I just didn't. By Kirby64? <clears throat> if you did, I didn't look very hard. I, I didn't had. see it. Okay, well, anyway, I didn't know what he looked like, and so I thought his icon, which was an icon of Rad Gravity from the game, the NES game Rad Gravity, like the first game he LP'd, I thought that was his face, like, caricatured. Like, I thought he made that, and it was, like, a caricature of his face. I don't know why I would think this. Like, it's so dumb. Like, I don't know why I would ever be like, oh, my God, he looks like that. He has, like, this black hair and this really, like, pointy chin. Um, but apparently that's where my 19-year-old brain was. And I was like, oh, yeah, that must be what he looks like. Cool. Um, and then I didn't really... Um, I didn't really watch your stuff until you started doing Super Mario Bros. Wii. That's when I tuned in. I was yeah. like, oh. Because he was playing it blind and he was posting one episode a day. Well, I was playing it blind because it had just come out. That's what I mean. Big but you day were, one LP. You were playing one level a day. So it was really I easy. I played one level a day. I played two levels a day. Well, it was really easy to digest and short and crap. So I was a fan. Jigmad3373, welcome. Um... So anyway, I got more familiar with his stuff. I think somehow I got your contact info through Dark Minded Sith. That sounds about right. Ben definitely sold everybody out. So and I was yeah, like, oh, cool. Right. So I like Skyped, Skype requested. And I, I was, I've totally been this girl forever. I was that girl on AIM that everybody who was online, I messaged everybody. If they were online, I was so nosy. I was like, what are you doing? What's going on? Every single time. And I did the same thing on Skype. Like, always reached out. If you were online, you got a message from me. I'm like, hey, how's it going? So I did that. Because um, I'm very nosy. So anyway, I was like, okay, I'm going to message him. And I think we messaged each other, but we didn't, like, talk. It wasn't like, oh, you know. Odie was like, I'm not really a fan of your stuff. He didn't yeah, say that. But for said. sure, that's what was probably happening. Like, he didn't watch my stuff. So... Yeah. Cool. Are you going to add it? There's not this? much more. Like I said, like I don't remember a lot of the early conversations. What's funny, I, the one conversation I do remember is when I was at my Nan's house and I got you to talk to my sister or whatever through my account. Uh-huh. I do remember that, but I don't re honestly. I, and I remember, I remember a conversation towards the start of our... Uh, our relationship, our relationship. But, but before it started i remember that oh well, yeah i'm just saying i don't remember a lot of skype conversations we didn't have we a had. lot i mean i would like message you and stuff and like there was one time and i if you guys have watched um you already know this story but there's a series on my youtube channel called madam talks and it's literally just like a an interview series i started like two years ago now um, where I interview basically people who have been in the LP community for a long time, and I want to do them all in person. So hence, I haven't done any more since because I've not seen anybody. So, um, but anyway, there are three of them. There's one with Odin, one with Zenonia, and then one with Pixie. And Odie was the first one I did, and I told the story of how, like, um, I we kind of ended up talking more when I messaged him, and it turned out to be his sister, and she was being really weird. 
And I was like, I don't remember him being this weird before, you know? Um, and then it was like, you were like working on your sister's computer. And so yeah. she was using yours and it was a big debate, but it ended up, um, it ended up working out. And then we ended up talking more after that. So that's another story. If you're interested in hearing that whole detailed story, check out that video on my YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so then when we finally met in person, it was at PAX East 2013? 2012? 2013. Uh, we met at 20, 2013. Yeah, yeah, it would have been 2013. So, but yeah. So anyway, we ended up meeting there for the first time. And I'd say we probably talked more since then, like after that. Um, so, but you know, there weren't like, it wasn't like we started pursuing each other or anything like that. Um, we were just like friends who had gotten to know each other in person then. Yeah, once we met at PAX, and I thought you hated me at Yeah, he first, thought I hated him. I thought she hated me. I don't know why he thought I this. don't know, but we started talking. Because I watched that better. video, and I'm like, you I know. thought I was a solid well, hate after well, that? I don't know, okay. But anyway. In other words, I think he had the feels, and he was like, oh, this girl's cute. Who knows, cute. maybe. He's like, oh, this girl's cute and fun. And then he approached me, and I didn't go... And, like, melt like a Disney princess. So then oh, he yeah, assumed that I hated that's him. I think that's is. what happened. Oh, yeah, sure. 100%. So I think that's probably how that was. So. <laughs> anyway. But, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, fast forward a few years when we actually did get together. Um, you know, I don't. Kitty is chiming in. Yeah, Sorry. She wants her part of the story told. You know, we. And. We kind of covered a lot of this in the podcast that's going to go up later today, but uh, on my Patreon page. But like, we took things very slowly when we first started, like dating or whatever. And, um, you know, I think that it was just like once we realized things were working and all that, to answer the second part of the question of like, when did you realize you were meant to be together? I think it was just, you know. There's just something in your gut that just feels right. And that's how it, I mean, that's how it was for me. That's, I'm sure that's how it was for you, where well, it just felt like, you know, why is this so easy when this is the most difficult situation we could be in, probably. Well, yeah, I, again, I don't, I don't want to spoil too much right. for, the, for the Patreon exclusive podcast, but, uh, you know, like at MAGFest, I didn't, I was like not really sure about a long distance relationship. I didn't really agree with them and then i was just going against everything i thought but then you know thinking back on it i was a lot more mature than i was back when i was like 20 right you know things had changed and it just it just felt right mm -hmm. and then you know here we are <clears throat> yeah because so. by by that point we were in our like you know late 20s so I was what like 27 maybe? yeah Does and I was because right? I was like right. I was 26 and you were 27 so um yeah we were like mid to late 20s so it wasn't just like you know it wasn't our first rodeo and we were just no. kind of open to what would happen exactly and it was like uh, that really is like pretty much my way of describing it is like it was so easy for a situation that was so difficult being <laughs> in two different countries hours and 500 miles from each other or whatever um the difficult thing for me was like like i knew there was feelings there but i didn't want it to feel like a rebound mm -hmm. because i had literally just gotten out of a relationship like well like two months i think right before. i think two months before that and i was and very i was still cautious. talking to her too like and like it was like and it was so weird and and i was very very cautious and then, but too. when i was at magfest like it just it just felt right and mm -hmm. like like just like talking with bobo <laughs> <laughs> you know it, everything just felt it just felt right and and that's why i was willing to even pursue a relationship in the first place because it just i was like i i i'm sure there's something here like i don't think it's just right. i don't think it's just wanting to be in a relationship right because i mean when i 
when I like my first relationship that failed, it's not like I immediately went into another relationship. Mm. I that was like a year, I think, or so. Before. And it had been a cup. It would have been almost like three years since I had been in a relationship. And I, I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, I was happily single. I've never been that person that's like, oh, I'm single. I need a boy. Like yeah, never, I, I never. That, wasn't like that is that. not my personality at all. So I was very like. I was happily single. I was doing my own thing, and I was like, girl, I can do whatever I want. I'm my own boss. And then, you know, this happened, and I was like... This happened. Oh, you know, (laughs) ruined. So it was not something that I was like, oh, I think I'm going to, like, try and get in a relationship right now. Like, I was not really expecting anything to happen. Like, I had feelings for him, obviously, and it just kind of snowballed, and the time seemed right to tell him. Um, but it was just like, that was not my intention at that convention or anything. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to the, like, it was a perk and I thought it was in my mind, like a possibility, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to like try and end up with him because I wasn't going to set myself up to be like, oh, well then if I'm, you know, if he doesn't have feelings or whatever, I'm not going to be devastated by this and heartbroken. Like, that's not right. I don't want to go into this and already have things like mapped out poorly for myself so yeah yeah but and, you know i i really wanted to hang out with you at magfest too a lot like i felt like yeah there was something there i did that too was more than just being friends mm-hmm same so and then yeah. when she was when she was like yeah i really i what did you say you love me or you, i did not say no, i love no, you i have a yet. crush on you right? yeah <laughs> And, and I was like, no, you don't. Yeah, I, his response and, was so weird. Because I was, I was like, like, uh-oh, I don't know what to say to this. <laughs> like, I said, like, oh, I've had a crush on you forever. And he goes, oh, don't say yeah. that. And I was like, Because I was oh, like, because okay. I was fighting, because I was fighting back, like, because I was having similar feelings, but I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to come forward with this because it's it would be long distance and i he was like unsure i, I was so unsure of it <laughs> like like i i did i i really did want to but again there was those feelings of like is this just is this, like a is rebound this just a fling? feeling is it just like a fun weekend it, where like i'm like, just whatever yeah, exactly. we're having a fun like, time and i was like or is this serious like that's why when you were like so forward with it on like day one or two or whatever it was i was like oh man like this is the whole weekend <laughs> still to go and i was like well, crap! I, had to plant I, was, the seeds I was like, early. I wasn't ready for this. I, so, Elden's very much like a nervous type person. Yeah, I too. wasn't ready for it. Okay, like if we have something to do, like I just pro- tom- like, like say we had something like, like important driving. to do tomorrow. He would be like, I mean, he's like a nervous freak out for like the entire time leading up, and I'm like, I need you to calm down. <laughs> He's very nervous in his I reactions am. to things. Hey, MT, thanks. So. Oh, I, Kenny says I, so I too. have lost weight. He has so. lost weight. Trying to get in big shape for the big wedding. For the big wedding. It's it's weird because I don't feel like I have lost weight, so I, it's kind of hard to... Like, I need other people to tell me Yeah. That. <laughs> well, because you can't... You're looking in the mirror and stuff. You I can't know. see it. It's so gradual, you know, know. but... Armand, welcome to the stream. I think somebody... David Alexander, welcome to the stream. Uh, I will say that before we had ever... Because it had been years before we... But I can't speak. It had been years since we last saw each other when we finally like got together at MAGFest. Um, so it had been several years since I'd seen him in person. Um, since he'd seen me. Since we'd really talked. Odie, you look hot! Yeah, thanks. Um... <laughs> and I remember you were trying to help me with my Halloween stream. Um, if you guys remember, uh, probably most of you remember this because I think most of you have been around for a long time. But like my Halloween stream for 20, it would have been 2016. You know, you remember my old computer that was like an all in one that I complained about constantly and the whole stream was blurry because that's all I could get to work. But like we dealt with it anyway and you guys are awesome for putting up with it. That was the situation and I was trying to get a better stream experience with him because he's. Your first OBS stream or were you still using Adobe, whatever it was called? I think that was my first OBS stream. Like that's why I needed your help and that's when you told me my computer sucked. Yeah. So. 
anyway, um, I had to get his help because he was like the Twitch guy. Anytime you ask anybody anything, it was like, what do I do for this? And it's like, ask Odin. Every single time, you were like the person to go to. It was pretty funny. But anyway, so we ended up in a phone call, and I think we ended up just talking like normal. Like, it wasn't like about... No. Um... I was still dating. Yeah, he was still. I, I was about to be and dumped. I was not. But... <laughs> I was not. I'm not that kind of person. No. I'm not like, oh, I'm gonna go for this person that's in a relate. Like, no, no. that's about no, as I far from me as you could like possibly get. Um, so no, I was not doing that. We were just talking, but I remember like really enjoying that conversation. So we joke now. Odie's like, you planted the that's, seeds. I know. <laughs> I, that's why I always think back on it. I was like, maybe that's when like I started having feelings, even though I was in a relationship at the time. Yeah. But I don't know. There's no way to really go no back on know that, that but like, like I said, after that conversation, planted I, the seeds. I, got, I got dumped like two weeks later, yeah. but like not even for that, like. Or a week yeah, later. It wasn't, I don't know. It what. wasn't like oh, it you wasn't long to this. after. So it was like oh, you. It wasn't like you talked to this, but like we were friends and we'd known each other for years. It wasn't like that. Yeah. So. Yeah, but anyway, so that's the very, um, that's the very detailed answer to that question, Scott. Man, I don't think I have anything else to add to it. That, um, I mean, because that's basically the the very beginning, but. Yeah. If you guys want to hear, met. I don't know if that was really like how we knew we were meant for each other. I we think just that, knew. We just knew. <laughs> I also think that comes in time too. I think I think, I think it is. I, I don't think it's like all of a sudden like oh like she's the one for me. Like yeah. it's just it's just a kind of gradual build. Like we've known each other for so long. Like even before we started dating, we know each other what six years. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. Yeah. So and seven like, years. Was it seven? Mm -hmm. Okay, so seven years, and then like you know, just over time, we've gotten to know each other more, and you know, sharing interests, being here a lot has helped because we get to see how like we work together. Right. Like, it's all just like really cool. Yeah. So. so it's it's you know you're always learning and you're always growing and you're always getting to know each other better than you did before. I mean, always. It's not like, okay, now I know everything about you. Yeah. Like, there's, it, it's ev it's always growing. Because people change, too. You're always changing and exactly. um, growing yourself. So, but yeah. I really enjoyed hearing the response. Thank you for answering. Wanted to ask uh, one for both of you. Well, thank you, Scott, yeah, man. Thanks, Scott, thank man. you so Appreciate much. It. I'm glad that your workday was light, too, so you were able to just listen live um, instead of having to look later, or listen later, but... Uh, thank you for your question. Thanks it, for supporting yeah, Bobo on Patreon. Yeah, thank you for Patreon. the support. I appreciate it. And if you guys are interested um, in hearing more about, you know, maintaining a long-distance relationship and what we have kind of gone through to be together, um, again, I do have a Patreon-exclusive podcast that is going up later today for this month um, that is all about that. So feel free to check that out. Mrs. So Serious, welcome to the stream. And I think with that, we're probably about ready to get into some Animal Crossing. Is that it? All right. Well, I got. I gotta go shower. Too, All right. So. He's going to take a shower. Anyway. Oh, thank you for yeah. the bits too, Casanova. Yeah. So thank you guys for um, listening in. Adam Five Icon Odin's One Nut. Wow, Odin's One Nut. It didn't even say P. Oh wow, it didn't. It just wow. said Odin's Did One I, Nut. Does it no longer say P? No, it says Odin's One oh, Nut. Oh, I wish that was good. <laughs> well, thank you, Odie, for answering this question with me. Yeah, anytime. He walked away, but I said anytime. No, I know, but I was doing. I, no, I was doing the Titanic reach, and you left. Why well, let go? Oh, he let let go. Go. Yeah, let go. I'll never let go. One second later, let's go. Anyway. Um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and get into some Animal Crossing. We're going to start things off. Things. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I hate the I hate the things category in Wheel of Fortune. Why would you do that to me? Pixie, thank you so much for changing the game. Um, I'm going to unmute this now. Oh, no, not that. Sorry. I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Um, I need to unmute this for myself as well so that I can hear it. Okay. And here we are. We're starting off with Isabel. We have, excuse me, a brand new neighbor in town, which is actually coming from Quincy Crossing, who I think is here today. Um, but he tweeted at me and was like, 
that's my villager. Thank you so much for the bits, Mr. Wario. Aww. Thank you so much, Mr. Wario. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, so, anyway. Oh my god, he's right here! This is Lionel. Lionel is our brand new villager. He just moved in in place of Frigia. He was a rando, so I did a little bit of villager hunting, but nothing uh, came of it. I just didn't find anybody who I was, like, super into. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna let it be random. And I'm very happy with the result, because Lionel is such a cutie, and I said that I really wanted a lion, so... I'm very happy with this. Startup, thank you for the bits. I'm glad you enjoyed the story. Um, Bowls deep in pizza. Bah! I don't know if you're just coming on in, but welcome. So yeah, this is Lionel. Um, he moved here from Victoria. I had a screenshot of this on my Twitter the other day because I thought it was really funny that he was one of your... Uh, one of my uh, viewer's villagers. So I was kind of waiting for something like that to happen because I think that's really cute and really fun. Um... Which is why I let my villagers move out too, because I think it's fun when they get to like, when they move into your towns and stuff after you've seen them on here. Anyway, I ordered a bunch of meme shirts because I've been giving meme shirts out as gifts uh, to people. I gave everybody but Tutu one because she would not stop listening to KK the other day. Pixie, kiss that cutie ham shorter. Wow, thanks, Pix. Thanks for the solid, um, solid letter. And. Oh, Pixie, thank you so much. As you probably imagined, I ran into... I. My family was over until like midnight last night um, because we were helping out my mom to move um, some furniture. We were doing... And my sister too. We were helping like to move furniture um, into a storage unit and it was like a ridiculous... It was like it during... We had this huge rain, rainstorm that you guys probably witnessed if you were at my... Um, Mario Party stream and then after that it was like we had to wait for things to let up and so it just went a lot later than we thought but and then we just had a visit with them but look at how happy Goose is in his meme shirt it's so funny none of my villagers gave me anything for giving them meme shirts but they all looked super cute in them I'm gonna see if Tutu's home and she is so we'll go ahead and give her the meme shirt that is from the other day because these meme shirts I ordered were just to replace mine because I wanted to have all the colors and she's making something this is the outfit she wears most by the way <gasps> she's wearing her sunglasses I love it so yes Quincy it was one of your first villagers I think it's so funny that he lives here now big moved in all right, so Tutu um, is making a cherry dress with a hammer. Uh, so I don't really understand that, but anyway, um, we don't need this recipe, so we gotta talk through this, and then we're going to we're going to give her a shirt that she will change into. This is seriously her favorite outfit, though that like pink hoodie. All right, so this is the one we were waiting for. And I think this is a red one, so it should match her pretty well. Oh my god, did it make noise when she put it on? I didn't even realize that was a thing. What? Oh my god, I didn't... I swear that just did... That, that made like a jingle. Did I imagine that? I swear it was a real thing. Okay, well I didn't know that was a real thing, so I am a little shook. But she looks super cute in her, in her meme shirt. So, anyway, yeah, meme shirt, hip and cool. So, this is a game changer, exactly! Alright, well. heard my phone. Oh my god, are you for real? Yeah. It was right when she changed. <laughs> so it like... looked like it went da 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 da, <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, this shirt makes a noise? Cause some things do. So like, oh my God, the, the epic debate by, oh the epic debate. I wish you wouldn't have said anything. I was like trying to get it to happen again. It wasn't happening. <laughs> How could you do this to me? <laughs> 
But you know, like, when you put on, like, any of the Zelda outfits or anything, it always makes the dun-dun-dun-dun. Like, it does make music so i was sad i'm so sad now that the meme shirt does not have a musical theme a musical interlude i can't believe that just happened so perfectly too look at her she's wearing her meme shirt still i gave everybody different colors so that way we had like a whole variety of memes going on we need to get furniture i'm just gonna kind of run around and fossil hunt um, I can't believe Odin tricked. I know. Oh my god, the Zap outfits do not make their themes from New Leaf. That's so disappointed. Disappointed? Disappointing. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna roll for a camper, too, right off the bat, because, um, I want to get somebody fun in here. So that's the list of campers. If you guys have somebody in mind, go ahead and comment who you want. If it's a repeat... Um, I will ask you to choose somebody else. Kind of hard to know who's already been here, um, because I don't think it's marked on there. I need to do that still, but, um, for the most part, I think it, it, it'll be easy to remember once we see them, but, anyway. So, yeah. If you guys are interested in that, check it out. Oh, look at him wearing the boss shirt. This is a flashy fox design that he displayed in my town forever ago. Um, all right. Oh my! Oh, Murphy, look at you wearing that costume. Um, oh, he's giving us our emotion for the day. Sheepishness. Hot. I always wanted to be sheepish, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, Kix is here. We'll go ahead and check him out, too. Slip on school shoes. Not this year. Big homeschool hype. All right. Anyway, so we've got a we've got a couple um, ideas in the chat. Give you guys a little bit more time. So yeah, if you have a villager off the camper list you'd like to have camp in our town today, just type their name in the chat, and then we'll do a little roulette. Um, see who we get. And I'm doing pretty good with fossils, but. I don't think I've seen any repeats in the chat that we have not, um, I don't, I don't think I see anybody in the chat that is, like, a villager we've already seen. So that's good. And I think this is our last fossil, so that's good. It was going until we got the, um, all the fossils for the day, but that's it, so. Alright, well then we'll roll it. We will roll it! Whoa, and it's gonna be big coins. I don't know if Quincy Crossing even said anything. Maybe. I'm checking. Oh, sweet. I don't... I don't think he picked anybody, so... I don't... No. <laughs> oh, sweet. All right, well, I'll give him a minute to respond, and if he doesn't say anything, then we will re-roll. Um, you know what I also could have done is I could have just checked off people who did say something, but I failed to do that, so I'm sorry. Um, it's like Nightbot, Nightbot does a good job, but sometimes I don't do the best job, so. Yeah, no. Anyway, all right, I'm just gonna roll it again. Here we go. All right, Boo 1220. Ooh, the stalker herself, Pate. All right, we'll have Pate come to town. Aka Pate. Kitty loves her Pate. <laughs> Boo with the shocked face. All right, we only need like one more fossil. We just need a chest. So hopefully we get that. Haven't had any luck these past couple days. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, I'm indeed tempted to purchase them. You don't even have a house. You're not purchasing them for anything. Alright, make a donash. And it's gonna be of uh, the famous painting, which is the Mona Lisa. I'm gonna get paint out. So. Where are we? Elemento. P for paint. P for the paint. Alright, Pate is who I always think is a boy, but is actually a girl, so isn't that exciting? 
Alright, so he's gonna donate the famous painting, and then we'll go uh, get our girl Pate. And then we'll worry about gifts for people today, because, I, like I said, I gave everybody meme shirts the other day, and, you know. Charlie Chalk, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Oh, look at her admiring. Marina with a familiar statue. She calls me M. Beans. This is something she came up with, and I'm like, oh, okay. So, I just let her call me her own nickname. Where is the Mona Lisa in here? There it is. Wow, not even behind glass or anything. How could ya? Anyway, uh, thank you for that kind donash. Big pics. Sorry I didn't get the chance to come over and, like, get it myself. Um, it was just, like, way too busy, and by the time I could have, it was after midnight, and I was like, alright, forget it. So, yeah. Anyway. Anyone want a box, Bob? What? Alright, no worries. Okay. I was gonna say, I hope that you didn't, like, sacrifice. I mean, I, I doubt you would have just because, like... That wouldn't make any sense, but, um, yeah. Where am I going? I need to go in here for this, so. Um, Bob is moving today. Well, shoot. I wish Lionel was home so we could see inside of his house, because we have yet to do that. We have yet to see. Um, because when I went in there, it was all packed up with boxes, so it's like, uh... It's not what we need. We need to see the design. I know he has the cityscape. I remember seeing his house before, but I, I just love seeing them when they're they're fresh. So, all right, invite a camper. We're gonna invite Ape, uh, courtesy of Boo1220. And I think this is maybe the first duck villager we're seeing at the campsite, I wanna say. Um, and she- oh, she's wearing the sunflower dress! That's a lot cuter than the, like, weird- I mean, not that the sweater isn't cute that she's wearing in her amiibo card, but it's not as cute as that on her. So. I just don't like her eyebrows. Too confused. Too confused. So. Um, alright. I need to- I should have put those shirts away, but I- I failed. But yeah. Anyway. Let me... I don't know why I just did that, sorry. I was thinking that there was something in there that I could give away, but I don't think I want to give away that flooring. Or a cardboard box. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait till we go to the shop. Alright, anyway. Um, and yeah, what, or Worldwide Nookling, welcome, yeah, if you want to do, um, trades or anything, uh, you can set it up in the Discord, that's totally fine. Can't believe we got the wrong chest from Blathers. So dumb. So dumb! Anyway, a log round table, I'll make one for you, how exciting. Um, what does that take, though? I think, I think the log stuff is hardwood, right? Yes. I'm so glad it's hardwood. Alright, um, I will go, oh, I didn't do a bio. Shoot! Hold on, I need to do a bio for her when we go back. Um, but we'll go make this table really quick, because I gotta put this stuff back in my inventory at home anyway. Yo, 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 she95, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna put all these meme shirts away. I guess I could check and see if I have any gifts in there. But yeah. I don't know why Pate follows me to my towns either. It's just like, I don't... I don't want her. <laughs> I just do not want her, but okay. All right, all that stuff can go in. 
We need hardwood. Do 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 do. And I got pearls again from freaking Pascal. So we got to try and find him today and get a different recipe. Uh, okay, I don't know why I'm looking through this. Mm. Oh, I have these palm trees. I wanted to set up like a beach. I wanted to set up my like back beach differently using these palm trees. So, all right, Angelia just dropped a heavy fork on my foot. Oh no, you wrecked yourself. Well, I hope you're all right. That sucks. Of all things, it's like, how did I even do this? Um, all right, cool. I don't think I have anything. Oh, I could give this cockroach to somebody. All right, we'll do that. What a what a beautiful gift that is. Um, I could also give. Well, no, I kind of like it for myself. Never mind. I'm gonna be picky. Butterflies wall. No. Hmm. I feel like I have some doubles of clothing maybe that I haven't cleaned out yet. Or maybe not. Why did I think? Oh, I may. I have a crown I can give somebody. Um, rose crown, mum crown. I have another heart. Sh I have one extra heart shades. So we'll save those for Lionel. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else that would make for an actual gift. So I guess we just need to buy some stuff. But, yeah, just casually gifting somebody a roach. It's a toy roach, but, you know, just casually being like, this is for you! This toy roach! <laughs> That's so stupid. Um. Alright, anyway. Hardwood round table. We got it. I did give Murphy his heart shades. He, he did end up getting his heart shades the next day. Actually, I think it was two days later because I forgot they were outside of his house. But, um, did I just put the table away instead of... I totally put the table away instead of the wood. Which is not what I meant to do. Okay, anyway. But yeah, he does have his shades now. I don't know that I've even seen him wear them outside, though. He wore them in his house because that's where he was when I gave them to him. But I don't think I've seen him wearing them outside. I've seen everybody else wearing their stuff periodically. But... Yeah, Stitches is not wearing anything. There's a sweet Tanook. Let's give this back. Hopefully we get something fun. God, get out of the way, tank! Goose is sweeping his front yard. How appropriate. Always sweep in the front yard. I'm getting to the point where I could probably arrange some of these flowers better now. I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention to my hybrid garden. I need to get back to that. But I want to move things together, so, like, the flowers together more. Right now, they're, like, super separated. So, yeah, good old Kix is here. And what you give? Ooh, painter's coveralls. But do I want this paint? I, I don't know that this is something I want. I mean, it's very Splatoony, but I don't. I think we're gonna give that away to somebody. But thank you, Pate. All right, and we have a bio for her, so I'm going to pull that up. Because obviously, she has been around for a while. So, all right, Pate's bio. Pate facts. Number one, not who you think he is. Number two, she. So yeah, I kept calling Pate a boy because I really thought that Pate was a boy. And then people got really upset in my Let's Play and they were like, Pate's a girl! And I had to be like, oh crap. So, I don't know, there's, I... Yeah, I, I don't know what the original bio says, let me see. If it just says, not who you think. It does. It literally, this is the original bio. <laughs> Which is why 
the bio following is literally this. So pretty high, but a pretty pretty explanatory bio. I'm glad that that exists. So how perfect. I really thought somebody was in this dance studio for a second and I got really excited. Why don't you dance in my studio? Big Murph, what are you doing? Just reading? Uh, wow, you own anything else to wear or is your egg sushi caught? What, you've seen me in so many other outfits. I have not been wearing this outfit that long. I've worn this outfit like for a day and he's already complaining. Kayla the turtle girl, how's it going? I don't understand. Murphy just being rude. Alright, so I'm going to sell this crap to you guys. So... Oh, no. And not the stuff I'm giving as gifts. Yeah, what the heck? Freaking Diplo tail. We need a Diplo chest. Dumb. Anyway. Um... All right, I'm going to, I need to get this little lamp because it matches all of our rat and stuff. So I need this rat and table lamp. It's only 1500, how perf. And then I love the white cello. I think we already have this though. I think this is at the ballet studio because I remember paying a hot amount for that before. We can get the toy box for stitches because that kind of matches him and his personality and then let's go ahead and get uh, I guess we're not getting anything from this we don't really need anything from here I've been checking the swimsuits but I think I got them all your cello is white I'm jealous I know I love the white instruments they're so pretty they look like so like regal or something okay so then we need to check our outfits i'm gonna give stitches his gift though while he's right here our theme our song or town tune or whatever is joy to the world for christmas in july we changed it on saturday and it's super hot so all right full body tights not what i was wanting but thanks Thank you, Stitches. Anyway, so now that that's been established. Yeah, big booby. They've all been adopting these dumb phrases from each other, so now I can't even remember who I originally said to, told to say big booby. Pretty funny, but. All right, comedian's outfit. Goblin. Goblin? Is that really, like, the name of these shorts? I don't understand this, but okay. I think we've gotten, like, everything like this before. This looks like a fall item. Like, why is this here for summer? It's kind of weird. Here we have a melon hat. I don't know that we have the melon hat already. Um see what we could Whoa, hold on we piece together a hot look with this tank can we do like a genie outfit like no not with the stuff that's in here seriously goblin shorts I mean they're cute I kind of want but I I'm worried that I might already have them I guess if I do, I can just give them to somebody. I'll just buy them and give them to somebody if I don't have them already. Or if I have them already, I mean. Hold on, how much is this hat? 1000 What else am I wearing that I don't want to be wearing right now? Okay, I gotta start this over. Sorry, I messed up. I've seen the pedal skirt before, and I... I think I I bought it before, or either I wanted to and I didn't. I don't really know. Alright, you know what? Let's just buy the melon hat for now. Yes. 
No. And then we're going to check and see. We're going to go change our outfit and see what else we have. Because I thought I had purchased the... I thought I'd purchased that, like, pedal skirt. I don't know. I'm not sure. Shirt selection in this game is tragic. So many cute dresses and bodies. I know! I feel the same exact way. I feel like the shirts are always subpar, and I have all these cute bottoms, and... the I mean, the dresses and full-body outfits are, like, my favorite, but... I don't know. I don't understand. Ah! I don't understand. Dory, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pimp zone. Okay, so, yeah, like, I, I am not. And some of these look like they should be just, like, that looks like it should be a dress. Well, maybe not. Okay, well, some of these do, like, the raincoats, I don't understand how the coats are not just, like, dresses, but. Okay, so I do not have the pedals the pedal skirt, nor do I have the goblin skirt or whatever. Um, I don't know. Why don't we, well, why don't we put something on that will go with it then? Those would go with the, this would go with the goblin shorts. Uh... And I'm gonna put these sandals on with my seashell bag. Let's do a different... Hmm. I have like the pink, that looks cute. That'll look cute with the goblins. All right, let's do this. Let's do this and go buy those shorts. And then we'll buy the skirt too, so. Ah, uh, Pudge is moving out of your town. Gotta love Pudge. He's big and cute. I love all the bears. Love them. Anyway. That shirt is lovely. Well, thank you. I think this is just the kanji shirt or something. Alright, I'm just gonna buy these this way. So that way I only have to make one trip to the dressing room. Because this game's like, oh, you wanted to have a cart function? Well, we don't. LOL. Okay, so I got my goblins. I've got... Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like... I kind of like the dark one. Yeah, let's do, like, dark fairy. So, yes. No. All right, we've got the dark one. I try to get just like one color unless I really, really want them all. But yeah, that's my style anyway. Um, I gotta put these cards up before I knock them all over the place. That way they stay. <laughs> yeah, dark fairy look. Did this give me a thing for switching? It did. All right, anyway. Okay, let's go. So now, uh, we've got- oh, he's running. We've got to do some diving still. I think I have a bathing suit on me. So we're gonna immediately cover up our outfit with this bathing suit, but... We gotta do some diving. I uh, gotta give gifts to villagers, and then... I think after that, we will start working on that beach area. But yeah. So hopefully this doesn't take a year and a half to do. Oh, is this one of the, like, crazy boys? I think it is. I think this is, like, one of those huge boys. LOL, huge boy. Because it's moving quite a bit. It's moving quite a bit. It is. It's a big old boy. It's the gigas. Gigas? I don't know. Giant clam. So. Hot. I do, Shoe Jazz. I do for the most part. I know that there were some fish. I think in... I 
think it was either it was either May or June that there were some fish that I just straight up missed. One fish in I missed the um what was it? Not the Mahi Mahi, the other one that was big. The uh Great Trevally. I missed that one. I think I missed some of the river fish. Um and it's weird because collectively I've caught probably most of the fish that have been available since the game came out. But I also switched my focus from my Switch Light Town, which was my first town to this town, and I was like religious with fish on the other towns, and now it's like I've been catching everything in the current months here, and that doesn't help me in my other game, so, um, I don't know, but I have been trying my best with that anyway, so, yeah, because like here, hold on, let me look at my... I don't think I have as many fish here. Yeah, like, I don't have as many fish here as I do in my other town because I have been playing it first. Um, I haven't even done this in my other town. I do have all of these that have been available for the month of July. I don't know what's coming in August. Um, and then I've probably done better with bugs, maybe, on this town. Although, you can see, like, I don't have any tarantulas. That's about the time when I started playing this game was when those were no longer available. So, like, you can kind of see the timeline, I guess, a little bit. Which brings me to the point, I haven't even talked about this today. There was an update, um, a video update, about what's happening with Animal Crossing in August. And it's exactly what I thought it would be and what I hoped for, so I'm happy about that. So we're getting the fireworks shows every Sunday in August, so that'll be super fun. So we need to have like a fireworks party one of these Sundays. Uh, maybe move my Saturday stream to Sunday instead on uh, one of the weekends in August. Because that would be super fun to see that. So I might end up moving one of those streams um, to accommodate that. And so I'm glad that's happening and Red is still doing his like raffle so I thought that was super cute. I thought that they were just going to ignore that and like, you know, be like, oh well that was old game. So I'm glad that Red is returning for that as well. Um, oh my god, this is another big boy. Okay, well anyway, we're going to have to sneak. So, anyway, I'm happy for that. I really like that they're adding Dream Suite because that means that I'll be able to um, show off Rainbow Run on uh, on here, on stream. Like, yeah, I won't be able to like play it and work on it, but you guys will at least be able to see it and it won't be me relying on somebody else to like, you know, like before I was like, Odie, you have to stream from your house. And oh, I didn't even realize I caught this. I tried to come up for air. I guess I got it. Um, but yeah. I wonder if KK will show up on the Sunday or not since there's a bug off in August. Yeah, oh, that's kind of weird. I bet it'll be the Friday like they did before. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, there's also Island Backup now, so that'll be nice. I kind of wish they had introduced that with the game, like when it first came out. I think it's kind of weird that it was like an afterthought, but... But you know, I can't complain too much. It's just like, it is what it is, but... Sometimes I question, like, why certain things didn't happen sooner. Um, but yeah, so I know that it still wouldn't be a thing. You know, it's like, oh, well, when island transfers become available, like, then I could switch my town. But I can't at this point. I've got two towns established. I would need a blank switch to do that. And... You know, that's not going to happen at this point. I guess if I still wanted to get, like... I, I think the point was, if I got an Animal Crossing Switch and traded this, it would be... It would be totally fine. But, who knows those, uh, if those will ever become available again. And I think it's better to place those funds with updates. and Which is what I did with those funds. It's like I, I invested it into my setup. And I still have funds set aside from that that haven't even been used yet. For, like, lighting equipment and... Um, green screen and all that stuff and it's the only reason I haven't gotten that stuff yet is because it's been out of stock the particular like um, equipment I want has not been available but yeah so anyway I think it's awesome that there's now a backup system though because there wasn't New Leaf and that really hurt 
a lot of people I knew where things happened to their 3DSs or I know my sister, like my mom accidentally spilled water on my sister's 3DS and ruined it. <laughs> And when she got a new one, you know, there was no cloud save or anything for Animal Crossing. She just lost it all. So, um, so yeah, but Dream Suite's cool because it just allows you to, yay, he came on the first one. It just allows you to visit other people's towns, um, through online codes. So it's not an arrangement of like, hey, we're gonna play together. You're literally going just to like look at their town and see their design and all that. Um, you don't have to be online together. You don't have to be friends or Dodo code has kind of opened up a lot of possibilities, but it makes it on your time and your time only. Doesn't matter. So I know, gonna get lots of inspiration from visiting these islands. So it's not necessarily meant for friends so much as it is for people you don't know whose towns are like really cool and you'd want to run around and look at it and or if you're like me and you have two towns and you want to show one off on stream that's the way to do it so all right pascal you can have this so i'm excited all right so i had a nightmare once that a scallop was eating me when I woke up, I thought about it, and fair play. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I can get by. I can get behind that one, Pascal. I can get behind that that little um, inspiration. So, wow. Also, shout out to Window getting replaced by a machine in the dream world. No, <laughs> Wendell's a computer now. Was that kitty behind the door? Oh, uh, you looked very nervous coming out of the... I was afraid that she was. Wow. Oh, there goes Pascal. Eating his how's scallop. The, how's the stream going? It's going well. Are you winning? Yeah, we're winning right now. We are winning because we found... Okay, never mind. We're not winning as much as I thought we were because he gave us a freaking pearl again. But we did find him on the first scallop. So it didn't take like a hundred years, but anyway, Pascal just floating away. Yeah, so I'm sure that you can get like designs from the dream computer or whatever. Um, and that used to be Wendell, so they must have other plans for him, I would imagine. But, um... Oh, they probably are. Uh, I would imagine they have the heart bobbers, Kayla. Like, I would imagine they just have, like, all that stuff. Why did I think there was a fish right there? Oh, I guess it was further back. Oh, well. Can you visit other people's uh, villagers in the dream? Yeah, you can visit the villagers and stuff. Their homes? Mm hmm. I. Th it, uh, the thing is, if they're not home, I think it's kind of like in this game, though, where, like, if they're wandering around outside or something, like, yeah. I clearly didn't go maybe over far enough. Yeah, maybe. You guys remember from New Leaf, um, there was, like, it was, like, the most famous Dream Suite town. And it was all over Tumblr at the time, uh, which is where I got, like, I get most of my, like, Animal Crossing inspiration and stuff, and it's always been that way, but... Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like that haunted town and it had like a story and you had to follow it a certain way and it had like all the dolls and it had like the same house twice and one was normal and one was like after the murder or whatever. Ica, was that the name of it? I was like, I do not, I could not remember this name to save my life, but that was like the, such a cool, I was like, who did this? Like I, and they had like all golden roses or something in one area and I'm like this person spent so much time on this oh my god yeah all you had to say was famous town and you knew which one that's what I mean everybody knew that town because it was like unbelievably amazing I know if you guys have seen um in New Horizons there's a town that's like all of Kanto or whatever that has been recreated by somebody 
It's like, those are the people who I'm like, please upload your towns to the dream suite so we can just run through. Somehow I knew something was going to be in this tree. Um, but yeah. Yeah, with how you can customize islands now, I can only imagine. So, here's a gift. Look, look at her fancy robe. Yeah, good afternoon, Bratitude. We'll give her the crown. I feel like we haven't given her any flower crowns, and she would look super cute, especially since she has all of the hyacinths outside of her house. Oh, she does. This is a freaking diner apron, though. Yeah, so I am excited to see other people's towns and get some more inspiration that way. I'm excited to be able to showcase Rainbow Run on here, which gives me more inspiration and, um, you know, more of a reason to work on it now, now that I can show it off. Gives me more motivation, I guess. But. Yeah. So, I'm pretty hyped. And then I'm really hyped for when all the fall stuff starts trickling into, like, I mean, I'm such a summer person, but I also really, really love fall and Halloween and, you know, all that stuff I think is just going to be so cute and so much fun. So that'll be really exciting, too. And Odie is modding my Super Nintendo. My Super Nintendo. Right? Yeah. That's what it's called? The Super Nintendo the Super Tent. So. Yeah. Anyway, I... Odie modded my NES Classic, like, over a year ago, and my mom kept saying she wanted to play some of the old games that we used to have, and I was like, well, that's probably the easiest thing to just take to play them. And now I don't have this one modded, which I don't know why I would have not modded this one. I don't know. Sure yeah, I swear it's not modded. But anyway, so we're gonna do the same thing to this one. So they both essentially have the same games on them. I even had Mario Party on my NES Classic. Um, and it ran. It worked. It was just goofy, because it's on an NES, but... They're the same. They're the same hardware. NES and SNES. But... Yeah. But, you know, you can play it with the classic controller from the Wii, and... Girl! Angelia! Thank you so much, Angelia, for the bits! Wow. Modding with Odin's salt, huh? You're never gonna be able to live down when you were salty. I'm always salty. I know, that's why. That's my that. secret. That's his secret. I'm always salty. He's, he's just salt all the time. Oh my god, what do we want to give? Painter's coveralls? Well, he could look kind of cute in those. It's been a long time since I've been in this. Yeah. Cutie. Oh, yeah, it's see, right, and it's I have flavor. That's yeah, it's because he has flavor. It's oh, kids, flavor. smock. I love the kids' smock. Although it's going to be like, you have to take your bathing suit off for that. Oh, whoops. And then I just didn't. Aw, oh, thanks for sitting next to me, big goose. Yeah, the kids' smock is cute. Um, we have kid smock. Do, 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 do. That needs to go in my house. I guess I could give these full body tights to somebody. I'm just gonna try and give all the gifts away before we sell all this stuff to the nooklings. So. Um. But yeah. I thought it did. Maybe it just takes it off automatically. Well, regardless, we're in our cute kanji outfit now, so let's give you- we'll give you the kid's smock, because you're a big kid. Yeah. 
solid smock. Oh my god, workout top! I feel like they give me the same clothing pieces over and over and over again. And I'm like, let's get a little bit more creative. But they never do. They never do, ladies! Okay. It's time to visit my girl Tutu! I love Tutu so much. And we know Marino is in the museum. Oh wait, we already gave her the meme shirt for the day. That's right. Well, we'll just talk to her then. I keep forgetting that now because it was like the first thing we did and it seems like that should have happened yesterday because it should or two days ago because it should have, but we were late anyway. It's because Cherry had the cherry dress on. It's funny because she does wear her cherry dress like all the time, but it makes her look naked. I know, Tutu looking fetch with her shades. Oh. Right, well, Marina clearly visited, visited the museum and was like, done. I like that she put her tanuki in her little bathroom corner. How cute. Uh, let's... Wait, what are these two things? Judge's Bell, Diner, Neon Sign. I don't know what color any of these things are. I'm just gonna give her a toy cockroach. Wow. Didn't she have fish in here? She replaced her squid? I caught her an octopus and she replaced it with that freaking tanuki. No. How could you do this to me? I can't. I can't deal with that. Um, all right, I'm gonna run home too and put some of this stuff away. Anyway, listen Phantom, I had to give tanukis to everybody the other day. It was just, it was a requirement, okay? It just had to happen. So I'll run back here before we go home and drop some of this stuff off because I want to show you guys this is the little like beach area I made a long time ago I kind of want to revamp it now that I have that palm tree DIY um, and just make it a little bit cuter a little bit more fun I might take out this giant bonfire um, and just put like a little one in here in fact I'm gonna just take that out right now so that we can um, mess with that later um because you know if we add like a an actual why can i not do this sorry if we add an actual like camp area somewhere else later or something it would just make more sense right there so that's kind of what i want to work on is that area today um but yeah yeah i did not get guaranteed photos with those freaking tanukis unfortunately all right what's up lionel What's up, Big L? Wow, what's the latest? I am a... I don't know, am I a yellow or a purple flower? You're purple. I, like yellow is my favorite, but you're right, I'm probably purple. Ooh, I'm secretive! What I said before about opening a window, I was bluffing. You're a closed book. Yeah, I'm so closed book. Well, poop. Poop butt stink. PBS. Right, guys? Yeah, Lionel Hype! Dang it. Yeah. Oh, my pockets are full, ladies. Yeah, I already have, like, a campfire right there, so... We really don't need another one in that other area. Lionel is so out of place on this island. He's like the old regal man. He's like the old king that lives here. Okay, I've got to give pearls. Put pearls. Oh, yeah, I have a new fossil I need to get identified now. Um, I think I might just sell some of these clothing pieces, too. Do I even need to... I'll save these guys. 
Here, I'll just keep the bonfire to give to somebody. Because they tend to like the stuff you make better than other pieces, so. Exactly! Sometimes you need to twist the island narrative! Add a bit of flavor! Exactly! Okay, now can I pick these up? Did I have sticks in here? I did. I did have sticks. I'm trying to clean up the island a bit. And... This is from Fang. Wildwood Wall. We don't have this yet, so that is very hype. Let's check it out. Uh, oh, it's not as hype as I was hoping. But I do like how, like, these wooden walls are just, like, DIYs. Like, you don't have to uh, find them in the, the shop or anything. And you can do a lot with these. Um, I do really like that about them. So, in that regard, it's hype, but... Hmm? Ooh! Yay! Alright, so let me just go through all my beaches. Stitches is giving a lot of thought to something. In his business suit that he's suddenly wearing. Alright. Change your... Wait, what? Okay, let's try this out. Uh, enter a greeting. Oh. Oh, I don't know. What's a good greeting, Odie? Pin in the spy? Yeah. Alright, let's see if it fits. Pin... In the see that could be a catchphrase. We'll pin in the spy. <laughs> so stupid. So um, uh, Odie plays like uh, has been playing Wheel of Fortune. I got him Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy on Switch for his birthday, and he's been playing it a ton on his channel, and he he's been playing it a ton on his own too, but. He had a puzzle the other night, it was like the, I don't know, it, it was with easy CPUs, okay? And it got to the final bit, it was phrase, right? And one of them guessed pin in the spy, and the other guessed pie in the spy. It was pretty hot, so. Yeah, pretty bad. It, in other words, I'm like, I'm gonna start saying that now. So, sounds good to me. Yeah, you love that pin in the spy. That just common phrase that everybody knows, clearly. Okay, so once I pick up these shells, we're gonna go back to the museum. Um, take care of selling this stuff. Go around and gift. And then take it from there. Lots of seashells over here. Kind of crazy. There aren't usually this many. Like, there are so many. Yeah, the pie has an appetite- or the spy has an appetite for dessert. Why wouldn't there be a pie in the spy? I'm gonna leave the summer shell, because they're easily- easily identified. And I also don't have room in my pockets for anything else, so. That is just too bad. So sad. Murphy's not home. Where are these people? They were all out in the beginning. There's Tank. I don't think we've given him anything yet. Huh? Oh, he has a flea on him. I'm like, what is he complaining about? Alright, well, I'm gonna give you this workout top, because you love yeah, to work out. Have this flea while I, give I don't have any room in my, to my pockets. Wow, super hot crop top on Tank! Alright, well he didn't give anything to me for it, so I can now catch his flea. Do they say itchy when they had a flea? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, I'm so itchy! No, because he said I-T-C-H-Y-E. Yeah, yeah, they just say that, like, they put, like, itch after everything. Which is pretty funny. Yeah, he's showing more skin, being scandalous! Oh, look at how cute she is in her little top. 
I don't want to ruin her top. Let's see, we have... Oh, I didn't put that freaking table away! Alright, I'll give her a bonfire. Can't believe... a bonfire? Here you go. Yeah, here's a big bonfire. bonfire. Ooh, silk floral print shirt. What does this look like? I can't believe I forgot to put that freaking ratten table away. Okay, this is like Pinky's shirt. Kind of. Alright, cool. Murphy's back here. We can probably bug him to stand up, maybe. Stand up, Murph! I'm thinking tomorrow- What?! I think tomorrow might just be Lionel's birthday! Well, geez, he moved in and birthday hype! Wow. <laughs> Just immediate birthday. Wow. Oh, look at you, Odie. Nobody Sneaking in with anything. that cheesecake. No one sees anything. Oh, man, I want my cheesecake now. Dang it. Nobody sees anything. Okay, well, now we've got to get Lionel, like, the ultimate gift. Is there any way to look up, like, what kind of gifts they like most in this game? Like, I've tried to go by the New Leaf guides, and they don't seem like they ever, like, follow... The, the same thing. Like, they don't seem like they work out. How about you fire up the big old screen much these days? Almost never. All day, every day. I'll say about now a day. It sounds like I've got some self self control. Alright, Murphy with the advice, I guess. Alright, we gotta get something good for Lionel for his birthday. Casanova redeeming a hydrate. But yeah. It's true, Armand. I did get my Cheesecake Factory Oreo cheesecake last night. And it was delightful. Alright. So please be this chest. <gasps> Wait, what? Dang it! You just baited me, Blathers! What? I thought it was going to be it, and then he's like, oh, it's a torso. You suck, Blathers. I know, what a freaking tease. He's so excited over something we already have. Did you get, did you get the, the thing I'm missing? Mm, what are you missing uh, again? Right caraway and ammonite. No, I did not get these things. Uh, I saw another fossil. Huh? I saw another fossil just sent from the camera. Really? Yeah. What? Oh my god, you're right! It's in, like, the horse stable! Dang it. Okay, I gotta go put this rat and table away. Or rat and table lamp. I need to just go downstairs and set it up. Because I keep forgetting to do things. <sighs> Freaking fossils popping up. Oh, Pixie already sent you Ammonite. Oh, yeah, right. You're right. So. Sorry, I need to write Carolyn. Okay. Uh, yeah, rat and table. And, or not rat and table, why do I keep saying this? Rat and lamp. Um, I feel like I need to put this, like, here. Oh, not on the bed. Can I put stuff on the bookcase? No. What? All right, we'll just put that on the floor there then. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, finally, it only took me like four hundred years. <laughs> we'll go dig up this other fossil. For real, because it's hype. It's hype and it's hot. Right, Odie? Wow. Oh, thank you, Kayla the Turtle Girl. I tried to make it like a, a double room with two different schemes going on, and it's like my double guest room, so like each guest can have their own space with their own theme. Um, what I should do, that little horse stable that I have going on back there, um, I kind of want to 
bring that out at Christmas and make it a summery thing as of now. So I think that might also be something we do today is work on that. Um, so I'll probably pull up my uh, blog that I've been using to get inspiration or get patterns and all that. Um, and if you guys are interested in knowing what I'm using, uh, this is it. This is the link right here. So, um, but yeah, super, super cute ideas on there. So I'll probably pull that up and look through and then go from there. All right, Blathers, you didn't find anything good, so I'm leaving. Goodbye. So, honeybee, how's it going? Thank you so much. I'm glad you like the island. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this all like a, maybe a pool area or something just for summer. Because I want that to be like a little seasonal area in my backyard. You know, like you do in real life. You decorate like the outside of your house for the season. Inside too, but... So you're getting rid of the horse thing in the winter? No, I'm bringing that out in the winter. I want to change it for right now. Kcat 4884 welcome to the pimp zone. Thank you for the follow. Hello. Yeah. Alright, we've got these. I'm just gonna sell everything. Can't believe I found two of those giant clams. That's kind of crazy. Alright, cool. 64,000. Alright. Yeah, ma Madam Making Bank. Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. I still wish you could put rugs outside. Like, I wish there were little picnic blankets that you could just put down outside, but that would require them for... That would require them to have a better system for arranging furniture outside, so... Anyway. Um... I... Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to look at this. KK Groove, I don't think we have yet. So I'll go ahead and order that. I need to look through, um... Oh, you know what? I bet we could give Lionel something antique. Like, I have an antique table that I don't have room for that I could use, probably, for his birthday. So... You got a hot squat toilet from a tree and nothing else? Awesome! Torterra Bite, how's it going? I got- Lionel is our newest villager. He's actually from uh, Quincy Crossings Town, so it was kind of funny. We had our first, like, random move-in from someone else's town, and I'm very happy with the choice, because Lionel is a big cutie. So it's big hype. You owe a bar. Huh? You owe a bar. Oh, I owe a ba! Torterra Bite with a ba! And yeah, his birthday is tomorrow, so we've already got to get things ready for that. I'm gonna just go through what's what's at home here. <laughs> um, so we have yeah, like I have this dark antique table. I also have the Kotatsu. I don't know which one. He'd probably like the antique more than the Kotatsu, right? This is cute too, though. I don't know. Maybe I will do the Kotatsu instead because the antique table matches my furniture. Don't I have wrapping paper? Blue wrapping paper. All right, so I guess I will wrap the Kotatsu. Can I... No, I can't. I have to hold it. Okay, cool. So, that's what I'm gonna hang on to. Yes! Rex was, um, the first Animal Crossing character I ever met. He was a lion as well, but he was the first one I ever met, and I met him in Hogwarts, just south of the house I made. So yeah, that was the first villager I ever saw in Animal Crossing, ever. So it's kind of funny. 
but no cookie was definitely i i didn't meet cookie until the let's play she met i don't even know who the first one i met in the let's play was it could have been her but i'm saying like the first time i ever played animal crossing rex was the first this is not where i meant to go i did not mean to go in here i meant to go in town hall whoops so yeah, I got rexed. And Goose is just back there working out in his flowers, as always. You think Cookie was one of the first ones I met in Pimput? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense, but that's not the first time I played the game, so I, I didn't remember. Um, I just watched that with you guys recently. I think... Maybe that's- that probably is accurate. That just seems, like, really weird to me that I wouldn't remember that, but, um, but yeah, the first one I ever met in-game was Big Ol' Rex. No, I don't want to pay my loan balance. I want to deposit. Alright, which we have enough. No, we don't. We almost have enough to pay off our loan balance, but that is a chunk of change. So I don't really care. Uh, we're going to look at Nook Miles, though, because one thing we could do... Mm, ...is get a pool for the backyard. Let me see what people have come up with, though. I'm gonna look at this, um, this blog here and get some ideas for some summer stuff. Um, and do I have, uh, what? How does this show up on here? Good. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at themes. We're gonna do pool. There's no, I really don't like that these are not in alphabetical order. Come on, come on people gonna do pool and yeah cuz there's like this right here I don't know if you can see my cursor but this right here uh, by Emmy is like just a pool design which we could do hmm. I, I know we have one of these like kind of areas behind Stitch's house, so I don't want to make it exactly the same. Maybe I'll just make it like a little... Maybe I'll just make it more of like a little lounge area with some of the stuff pulled from the beach. Go back to themes again and see if I can find anything more exciting. Tiki bar, and then there's four beaches above that. <laughs> This guy's character, that's really funny. Um, hmm. Yeah, because we could have like a little, some kind of little like stand or something. Let's do, I like the witchy stuff. I mean, this is, would not be for this time of year. I'm just getting distracted now. We've used some of this in our, oh my God, look at that outfit, hot. We've used some of that in the, like, haunted area that we're go going to revisit in the fall. Um, yeah, beach stones, that's cute. Cute. Hmm. Okay, well this at least has more options. Huh. Oh, that's cute, how it looks like a wet shower again not really what we're going for here but cute mm, 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 mm. i'm not seeing any designs that are really popping out to me they're not no they're not popping hmm. i love that in this picture pinky is just walking Footprints, sand patterns. I think I'm just gonna have to do my own thing with this. I do have the mermaid stuff though, and I could put some of it outside. 
um, as it is really, really crowded in that room. So, okay, well, let's go ahead and just wait to order this pool until we know. Um, and I'll kind of run around to that. I'll, I'll run back to that area that I'm talking about um, that's outside of Stitch's house so you guys can kind of see that I don't want to do the exact same thing. But I know my teacup ride looks very much like Alice in Wonderland with the color scheme because it's like it looks like the card suit colors. And I really wanted to do like a little fairy tale area somewhere, but I just haven't had anywhere that it fits yet. No one's house looks super fairy tale. I guess mine does. I could put it behind my my house where this is trying to go, but yeah. So this is like the little pool area we have set up behind Stitch's house and it's really cute. It's like a little pool party. Um, and then obviously we have that beach area that's behind the cliff. So we'll run back over there. Deuce. Yeah. Time to flex our creative brains. Exactly. This is our like fashion show slash dance club. We have a little playground area right next to our Mario bandstand area. And then, yeah. So I'm almost thinking like, I don't know. Because if I had like those beach towels or something, I'd probably put those down where the bonfire was. Okay. <sighs> Shoot. I'm like having a change of plan now. Maybe I'll leave this area as is, because it doesn't look so crowded anymore now that the bonfire's gone. I'm gonna move this over there, because I don't think one of these was even over there, which seems kind of dumb to me. Maybe like, right here? Not right in the middle. Actually, no. Let's put that closer to the pool. That's better. Um, I think I'm gonna leave that open. So let's go ahead. I have a bunch of palm trees I made. And we could potentially just add those outside of that other pool area. We could make this like a little fairy tale area instead with like the teacup ride. Cause like that's kind of what my house theme has been so far is very like ethereal like fairy tale cottagey um at least that's been what i've been going for and we could even change this up a little bit too because i wanted it to be like kind of like a country style mm. so hard to know what to do okay well i'll just go ahead and go in my inventory and figure it out so you know. What am I talking about? What am I doing? Alright, before I do this though, I am gonna take a. Um, I am gonna be right back because I do need to use the potty. So, I will be right back and then we'll get started on this. So, see you in a second!
Okay, here we go. Thank you guys for waiting. Had to party in the bathroom. Oh, no. Baby. Yeah, welcome batch, baby. And now we're ready to figure this out. So I have all these palm trees. I'm just going to move them into my pockets. Oh, well, putting a palm tree in your pocket. Um, no, that any of this stuff. I guess we could also do like a little, like, I know I did like the teddy bear picnic area, but we could do like a legitimate tea party area for ourselves instead. Um, which is why I like saved out these coffee cups. Hmm. All right, I probably need some fencing. Let's see what I have left. I'm gonna make all this the same and take the hay out for now. Um, and then I need my customization kits. So let's get that going. And then let me go up here and see what all is up here. So, um, yeah, I had to lay an egg. Exactly. Okay, so this is like super crowded in here now because I've been piling in all of the furniture I possibly can for the mermaid stuff um, just to get a better HHA score or HRA or whatever. Um, HHA, HRA. You don't like the design of it? Well, it's just too cluttered. Like, I don't need this much stuff. Wow. I just want, but I do want to get the, the good score. So, um, eventually... Some of this stuff could probably come out, but yeah. Thank you, uh, Fat Cat Crossing, and welcome to the stream. I love my mermaid room. It's one of my favorites. But yeah, I don't really want the table right in the middle there, um, or the lamp necessarily. So I'd rather switch that out. I think everything down here is good. I don't think there's anything down here that I'm like, oh, I need to move that. Um, so... Anyway, so let me go ahead and try out some of these little palm tree statues or whatever. Because I know some of them will look really good around the other pool area. So we'll just see about it. Just check it out, you know. See how it all works and flows together. Because I can paint them pink, or at least one, and I could put it, like, back here, maybe? Or even one, like, back behind the beach ball there? Let me go do that. So let's, put, let's paint one and then try it out several places. I think that's going to be our best option for the moment. So palm tree... Yeah, so there's like a cute, which is kind of what we're wanting to go for. So we'll try it. Try it before you buy it. Mm -hmm. oh, this will fit back there. No, there's no room. How could you? No, what? that's not what I meant to do either. I don't know why you can kick these designs away. I was like, where is this design? No, I don't want to wear it. I want to display it on the ground. So dumb. Okay, sorry. Issues. There we go. So that's pretty cute right there. Yeah. I kind of like it right there. I don't think I could fit more than one. I feel like that's going to be too cluttered. I also don't know why that would go so far away. No! Just pick up the item! Why? Are you serious, game? Anyway, okay, I'm gonna try and just put it this way. Yeah, like 
I don't know why it wouldn't have gone this way to begin with. Apparently because it takes up an entire floor space. Yeah, rage. Aw, Stitches has fallen asleep under a tree in his business suit. Now he's like, where's lunch? Okay, so I think I'm just gonna have to have one of those palm trees right here. Let's try out some of the others in the other beach area. Oh my god, this song. So annoying, there's only a minute left of it. So irritating. Burder, burder. Okay. Taking the hay out. This was just supposed to be like the little feeding area. 2 a.m. is the nicest, you think? I'm like never playing that late, so I don't even know what the music sounds like beyond like. I feel like I never play this game past like. You know, the latest I play is like 11 p.m. and I don't even know what the midnight music is. And I don't even remember what the 11 p.m. music is because... Most of the time I play this in the afternoon and that's it. Like, I'm by 6 o'clock, done. Like, the only time I play later is with you guys on like Saturday nights, which sometimes that lasts till 11, but I don't play after that, like... Um, yeah, beyond 11, I don't know anything. That's kind of how I am. I'm just like, what is happening? Okay, so these, um, palm tree lamps are, like, regular style now. That's kind of cute. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of cute down there next to the pool like that. It just looks like a baby palm tree mixed with everything else. Maybe if I pull this out and put one like right here. That's cute too. Yeah, that looks cuter, I think. Can I fit one right in this space? No. It's like, how dare you try to do to do stuff like that? Um. That's pretty cute, though. I'm glad I can just push this lighthouse. Um. Unless I pull this back one more. Nope. No room. Can't just squeeze it in this space either. All right, well then I think we're just gonna leave it like that with the two. So, and then we have one for ourselves if we decide to make this like an actual little beach area, which I think we're going to just see how it looks really quick. We'll just try it, try it on out. <laughs> Anyway, Julian was like the singer on my town. Now that he's moved out, it's kind of all over the place. Cherry used to sing the most, but I haven't heard her sing in forever. She like never sings anymore. But I think I've witnessed just about every single one of my villagers singing. So that's pretty cute. Can I make this all, no. If I make this all sandy... I wish that you would- I wish you could just drag this feature, like this is so long! Oh, Stitches, you're over here now. Are you doing business with us? Today? No, not what I meant to do. And then instead of just making a space next to it, I, of course, uncovered it more. Okay, let's try this. And then we have a little palm tree light. Oh, he's going to be part of the fashion show, clearly. Thank you, Stitch. 
You wish your villagers sang more? I don't think my villagers in Rainbow Run hardly ever sang. And if they, it was always like Groucho that was singing. It was kind of funny that it would always be Groucho. Oh, Murphy, what you want? I do not want this lantern! The lantern he needs to see up in his attic. Oh He's my like, god! Go. Take it, I don't need I'm trying it. Trying to get rid of your trash with me, why? Yeah, Stitches is dressed for success. Okay, so I have this pool chair. What else do I have that I could move over there? Um, okay, I like this setup over here. That floaty we could potentially move over there. This is the other thing. I can go and get that pool from upstairs. Which sounds funny to say. Casually getting my pool from upstairs. Um, just to see what it looks like, though. Like, just to see what it looks like in this area. So that way we're not, like, spending all these nook miles on a pool and it doesn't even look good. Um, that's kind of my thought process behind that. Okay. I don't know. Is there no, like, shell? Um fence or whatever. Cookie, you come in here. I- thank you. Please don't come in here while I'm trying to do this. Okay, that's better. This can't go anywhere. Okay, let me go grab the pool. Yeah, business teddy bear falls asleep. Basically. Basically. Oh my god, you've gotten Flora three times now. I've gotten Curlos twice, so... Not as bad, but pretty annoying. I understand. Okay, I want to put the springy right on, then the sleigh away. Okay, move this out for now. Let's go up and grab the pool. I have Flora in Rainbow Run, and I've been just waiting for her to move out. I don't really care for her that much. But I know other people are like, she's like their favorite. So, I feel bad saying that, because I'm like, oh, I don't really care. But, like, I just don't. Like, she didn't really grow on me. She was cute, and I was like, oh, you know, a pink flamingo. Odie's mom would like that, but, like, I just didn't really care. <laughs> Odie told me that his mom likes flamingos, so now every time I see a flamingo on anything, I'm like, Oh, your mom would like that! And it bugs the crap out of him. I feel like I'm gonna have to reverse this now. Like, this just does not look good. This looks way too small. Like, I need the sand to go beyond the fence if I'm gonna do this. Which is what we're going to do. So we're going to have to put all this together again. Because the game won't let me do it under the fence. So poopy butt stink. But that's just the reality of it, you guys. Is there a better fence for this, too? Like, maybe I should just not have this fence. Because I feel like this fence is kind of poopy butt stink. But I do like it with the pool. I think it is like a cute little backyard area. So. Okay, hold on. Let's go... Here. Yeah, like this needs like the iron fence or something. Which I think I have more of. So I'm just gonna bring that out here. No, no. You guys do not come over here and ruin this. I'm... You lay on that chair and you're done. I'm trying to do this. Okay. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is just make this quite a bit bigger. No, no, put... <sighs> okay, there's too many people standing over here now. I'm not... <laughs> My god! Why? Bamboo lattice fence feels tropical? That's a good idea. 
I don't know that I have any bamboo, though. Like, I don't think I've ever made that fence because... It looks good, but I like... Actually, no. I think I do have ban... What the heck is Cookie doing over here now? Get out of here, you guys! Okay, sorry. I think I do have that. Uh, have bamboo pieces that people gave me. So... I cannot believe they're over here while I'm trying to do this. animals. No. Okay. There we go. Okay, now when we put the fence down, it won't look really small and cramped and stupid. Yeah, so this is like our own like little personal pool getaway. I won't be mad about it. Okay, let me go check and see if I have bamboo pieces then. Um, but yeah, so. Do you hate ghosts and goblins? I do hate ghosts and goblins. Um, anyway. Oh, I do, oh yes! Okay, good. I was like, totally have some. I've been to the Bamboo Island like a million times, but I never do anything there because... I'm always, like, villager hunting when I go. And I'm, like, trying to go there quickly and, you know. So, anyway. Um. Alright, bamboo pieces. I don't know how many. Was it the 27 of the... I should have looked before I put it away with the coral fencing. Yeah, Bamboo Island, great for bug hunting, it's true. But I haven't done that in forever either, so it's like, uh... I want to say 30 is probably enough. I'll just keep it on me in case. I will keep it on me in case, so... Yeah, I love Bamboo Island because it's really good for uh, bug hunting. It's easy to, like, get a lot of materials from for the, like, bamboo stuff. I'm not personally into, like, the bamboo furniture necessarily, but, you know, I still want to, like, unlock everything in my catalog and do all that stuff. So it, it is good for that, but, okay, no. Okay, there we go. This does look tropical. Good idea. Okay. Regardless, we have enough bamboo to make what we need. I'm just gonna fill this all the way up and then decide where I want the doorway. Instead of being- instead of leaving a hole anywhere. Can't see anything behind this apple tree. And that might be where the doorway goes, right there. We'll try it before we buy it, you guys. We will try it before we buy it. Hot. Good suggestion. Now this looks a lot better. Yeah, so I think if we take this one out, that's the perfect little doorway. Although, is that centered? Does it matter? I don't know. Hold on. Or it's even, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah, we've either got to have two on one side, three on the other, no matter what, so. Okay, that looks better. I like this a lot better. Um, why don't I... Okay, hold on. I don't know why I didn't just shake the tree that's right next to it, but I didn't, so. Oop, pens, but. I wanna dig up this tree and move it someplace else so it's not just such a block yeah now we can see this a lot better yay well it's a cute little area okay we need like something right here no that's not what i wanted to do let's look through 
and see what we have. So, mermaid furniture. Okay, I have enough of these. Okay, I don't have anything small like that. Let's look at the seashell. We have, oh, we have the shell speaker. Okay, why don't we do that? Because that would add some music right back here and be super cute looking. Alright, so we need iron nuggets and what else? Conch. Okay. Or conch, whatever. Alright, anyway. Uh, Marianne2573, how's it going? Yeah, big two day hype for the update. I know, I love the little like fireworks in August. They're so cute. I'm not putting those in storage. Okay, so I need to get um, this. And I've been saving every shell practically I pick up. So that's the good news about that. I don't think there's any like small shell table. But. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Wow, someone on Twitter said Luna's a New Horizons character. Hot. Just, I love when people just, who haven't, who clearly haven't played the series yet, make super claims that are like, wow, that's not true, but nice try. Uh, well, then don't state it as fact. That's just stupid. So, if you don't know, don't state it as fact. Alright, this vanity gets no stool because we need to use it as a table now. Why is this facing, a, is this the wrong way? Not necessarily, but I want it to face that way. Okay, cool. I'm taking- I'm stealing this table because it doesn't match the rest of that cabana stuff anyway and it might look good outside. Thank you for the host! Uh, Z Ted's Gaming, how's it going? But yeah, I- that doesn't match our furniture anyway, so we're gonna just try it out here. Wait, did I ever actually make- I didn't. I meant to make it when I was downstairs and I failed. Now we get to run all the way over here and make it instead. Alright, craft something. Let's craft. We're gonna make this. And I'll see. Thank you for the host. I'm gonna see if any of that other furniture, that other shell furniture, is even remotely interesting for this. I think it's all too big, though. Yeah, it's all too big. None of this stuff looks how I want, so... Alright, and then let's look at the customization options. Mm, no, I like the natural the best. Because we already have the pearlized one in our room upstairs, our mermaid room, and I'd rather keep things like, you know, different. This keeps it exciting. Okay, let's see how this looks down here. Oh, that's perfect. It matches perfectly. Do I have like an actual... Maybe this is what I need to do then, because I kind of don't like that. How do I touch this? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Can I not scoot this in more? Yeah, because I don't even think I can grab it from that way. Oh, thank you for the host, yo-yo! What are you laughing at over there? 
Are you putting something really dumb on there? No, no, no. Oh, I have like... Mm. Alright, we're just gonna put that over here again. Um, okay, this is my new thought, so... <laughs> this is my new thought. I want to possibly... I feel like I had a beach chair. That did not look like that pool chair, and I think I liked it. It might look better. Yes, it's this right here. I have almost the same thing going on over here, except not. So, I'm just trying a bunch of different things before I decide what exactly I want, for sure. So we're going to try and put this over here and see if it looks any better. I'm just trying to have lots of beach getaways, okay? We're trying to be like the Koopa in Paper Mario. That's not the one I wanted. Poolside bed. Her. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we need a poolside bed over the beach chair. Oh my god, just turn the way I want you to be. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, then if we have this rattan end table with coconut juice on it oh yes ladies yes this is what i'm talking about and now we have our little poolside getaway Woo nice pool area thank you are you being a sim right now Woo okay and i'm going to steal I'm just stealing things. Okay, maybe I won't steal this. Let me see where, what we need to make the tiki torches to go, like, at the entrance. We need tree branches and wood. So, we need to make that. And I'm gonna need, I think I'm going to need more wood for this. If I want to make more than one. So. Yay, our little beach getaway is looking so Oh, yes! is looking super cute. Um, oh, thank you, you guys. I'm glad you like it. Lucas Kobe's in the house, by the way. Welcome. Big Luke. Alright, so I'm just gonna hit all these trees and try and get some wood. Because uh, I know I don't have a ton stored. And I had a ton of branches. I know I have a ton in storage. So I know we're just making trips back and forth to the house, but that's okay. Got a material gather when you're trying to make stuff. Yeah, so then we... Okay, well I guess that's enough wood. So I guess then we have enough... Um... Then... Or what was I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. But we have enough for two almost. We've got to run home anyway, but I want to put this beach chair down first. Putting down the beach chair. It's like, must be specifically beach. Okay, cool. So that's down there now. It looks great. I think we it looks better anyway, because we only had the one poolside chair, and we had like several beach chairs. Yeah, wood is hard. Just plain wood, I've complained since the beginning, is like the hardest to find for some reason. And I don't understand why, but... You know, what can you do? Okay, so I'm gonna make two tiki torches. We may only use one, but I'm going to make two because why not? I don't even have a stone axe anymore. It's been like a hundred years since I've made a stone axe. Which takes freaking wood! Oh my god. Okay, forget it. I don't care. I'm not making one right now. Um. Yeah, because look, it takes freaking wood. Okay, maybe I will make one right now just because we're gonna be making other stuff anyway. Let's go in this room. We haven't been in Rhonda's room in forever. Ooh! 
I like it. Thanks, Pix. Thanks, Pix. Okay, so let's craft my tiki's. No. Okay. So we're gonna make two of these. And then I would just make the flimsy axes, but like they just break so quickly. I'd rather have a better one. It just sucks that it takes the wood that is most difficult to find. It's really stupid in that way. But we're just gonna suck it up and make one anyway. Mr. Bandy Power, thank you for the host. Welcome on in. And this needs to go in place of this rock. Okay, I think... Can we customize the tiki torches? I don't know that I will, but... No, we can't. Customize. I didn't know! We can't. Okay, tiki torch, hardwood, softwood, wood, branches. And we can get rid of these. Or put these materials away too. Okay. Uh, chocolate cookie eight. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the pimp zone. Oof, I'm slouching. Sorry. I was slouching. Anyway. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna see if this looks good on, like, the corners or closer together. Okay, probably it'll look pretty good on the outside, but... Mm. Yeah. Oh, hold on. No, grab onto this torch and pull it in. Thank you. Oh, I think it looks hype. Okay, let me see how one looks over here. Like, if I just want to use one instead. Oh, well, it won't let me do that, so they're going to have to go on the outside. I want to see what they look right next to the doorway, too. Oh my god, grab the tiki torch. Thank you. Okay, I think I do want it to be, like, pulled over. Pulled over? Yeah, six star island, let's go! What if? Alright, yay! We have a little pool getaway in our backyard now! Super hype for summer. We don't look that into it, though, because we're wearing a freaking hard hat, so... Um, let's wrap up the hard hat crap. Oh, it looks so good! Okay, good. Because I was like, I don't know, I love, like, the idea of Christmas horses, and I know there's going to be, like, super cute Christmas stuff coming out when the time comes, so I was like, I want to have kind of an area close to my house that I can just keep changing. And this is perfect, because, like, even if Stitches doesn't live in that other house, it's still a beach house. I still want it to be a beach house and have that beach stuff all over. Um... But, you know, I do want an area of the island that is, like, seasonal and changeable and, like, is, uh, you know, a little more on the smaller side. So, and then this obviously is, like, a little beach area already. This is not, like, a seasonal thing. This is just, like, because we're on an island, part of what it is. So, I didn't want those to be, like, seasonal areas. So, I'm glad that we have something now that we can kind of build off of. So let's go ahead and put something beachy on and take some photos! It's like, yeah, exactly. It's like a display window. So. So I wanted to just have something that was, like, cute and fun. Um. But yeah. Alright, well let me put on one of my mermaid, well not mermaid outfits, but I call it a mermaid outfit. It's really not, since those actually exist now. Um, but these little, little, uh, shell dresses. So I have a purple one I just bought, and I have a yellow one. 
I'm going to take my shoes off so it looks like we're like actually going to the pool and my bag. <clears throat> and a little flower in my hair. Let me see. I haven't worn... Uh, oh, that looks cute too. I haven't worn the purple one yet, so maybe we'll do this. Okay. Yay! So then we look super islandy and cute. I should give myself a little bit more of a tan, I guess. Wow, you know what, Bobo? You're cute and fun. I said it. Aw, thanks, Pixie. Pixie, you're cute and fun too. Oh, that's like so much darker than this. Yeah, because I was like, I want like a... This is what I... Wait, I think this is what I had to begin with. And then I made it... No, I did not make it that. I made it this. Let me see how it looks outside of here. It really doesn't even look that dark, though. I don't know. Let me go outside and see if it looks too dark. <laughs> like an unrealistically dark tan. Because I don't want it to look like we've hit the tanning bed too much. It really doesn't look like that, though. It... I don't know. So. Yeah, wow. Pixie with his wows. Hmm. Alright, I think we're just gonna have to go back to the other shade of tan because it's too big of a jump. Too tan. So. That's the skin color you use for your character. Well, you know, I have my character, like, match my skin tone. And then I wanted to give them, like, a summer glow, but I don't think I would ever be this dark. Like, I tan really easily and this is too dark. I don't think my skin would go that dark, so, like, we're gonna be this. My skin, my skin would definitely go this dark, but, yeah. Let's see if we can do, like, a beach, no, beachy waves. We've had the same hairstyle for the entire thing, because, like, every time I change it, I don't like it. Um, but the beachy waves are, like, a thing. Or we could have our hair up like we're at the pool. Alright, let's try a beach wave. I'm just trying to make it look like, you know. Yeah, that looks a little fancier. So we'll have that. So. Yeah, two, two tan. Sam, this is more realistic. We'll go with this tan. Huh. Yay! Alright. We've got our beach wave hair going on. Perfect. Alright, now we need to take... I love how you don't get your phone out. I like to take a photo. Here, you know what I might have to do to center it is do... Uh, get the camera out like right here. Because it was not wanting to go over as far as I wanted it to. Okay, solid stump. That's just too bad. Uh, let me see. There we go. That's pretty good. I think. No, don't look. Okay. And we have like a normal sharp. I like the soft for like a dreamy beach scene. <laughs> Dramatic. Yeah, I think we, we got it. No, I didn't want to say no. Okay, well, I moved. Um, and I got points for doing that. How exciting. <laughs> Sneaky pick. <laughs> the other one looked kind of like if you went to Italy. Well, yeah. Um, 
why am I getting this axe out? I'm trying to do this. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again, except... Because I wasn't done, I wanted to do like a little pose here. Um, okay, so now... No, what? <laughs> oh my god! Could I do the right thing? Why can't I move? Apparently I'm not allowed to go near this pool ladder. No, it's hitbox. It's square right there, right? That's so dumb! Okay. I don't know if I like that. That looks kind of like I'm getting sunburned. No, you closed your eyes, you idiot! Oh my god! No, I was too early! Why can I not take this photo? Okay, I got it. Okay, there's that, and then... I was waiting for the blue music note. Perfect. Alright, great. And now a freaking cloud's going over, so it's ruining my vibe. <laughs> I know my photo struggles. Alright, let's look at them and see how they turned out for sure. Okay, so that one's good. That one's not as good. Good. Too early. Two eyes closed. No. <laughs> Two eyes closed. What? Oh yeah, I meant to tweet this because like look at how cool the sky is back there. That was like the coolest cloudscape I've ever seen. Like I've never seen the clouds like that in the background. So I thought it was so cute the other night. And then I thought uh, Goose's stare was pretty intense. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take, there we go. There's another view of it. It's, it was like as the sun was going down, it was so cool. Like the whole game was moving, but like the clouds stayed. It just looked really cool. Yeah, like those were like the coolest photos. I'll have to post, oh, I'll have to post those later because um, I meant to show that off a few days ago and I just never posted them. But yeah, I really like this photo, I think I'll end up posting and then this one too. I like those the best. So, hot, come on. Yay, but we put together this cute little pool area. I'm so happy about it. Um, okay, so that's all good to go, we're all summery, I'm gonna run up and visit Pate because I don't even think we viewed this table, but go for it, big work and on break, well then I take it you got the job that you had the interview for, so I don't know that it, that was ever officially confirmed, but congratulations, that's awesome. But go for was... Oh yeah, how'd your audition go too? Well, I think he had like an interview like not that long ago. Um, but that's awesome. No, I do not want you to live here. What? Pate inviting herself to live here? I'm like, oh. no. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want you to live here, Odie. What if? All right, well, she's eating a sandwich. Super hype. Let's see if Lionel's home, too. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Honey, but you can't just say those words. If I say those aloud, Kitty might freak out. I'm exploring the island. Um, yeah, I can't say that word, honeybee. I have to pronounce <laughs> it wrong. Kitty gets so excited. because be like, what? That's her dinner. Like... <laughs> Like, P-A-T-E, pronounced correctly, is, like, her favorite word. And she'll come running out, like, oh my god, I'm getting it? And it's like, oh no, it's not time yet, I'm so sorry. I don't want to, I don't want to debate her, so. We gotta call her Pate. <laughs> 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 sorry, she has to be Pate. Which is what I originally called her, because I didn't know how to pronounce it back in the day, which was really funny, but, like, but now we just have to call her that. It's like, no excuse. Yeah. So. 
so you are correct in your pronunciation. I am just incorrectly pronouncing it on purpose. Yeah, shout out to Kitty. No betrayals allowed, exactly. Auditions went great. Should find out later this week. Oh, nice. Well, congrats, that's awesome. Yeah, and then this area looks fine with like these two different color beach chairs. What are you thinking, Rhonda? You know how a secret greeting give me give me moment is her secret greeting with me. Yay. Okay, I've got a great idea. Mm. Huh. I mean, I said that, but I didn't really have a great idea. Aww. Cue. <laughs> there, that's my shout out to Jeopardy. Or not Jeopardy. That's my shout out to Wheel of Fortune. Q! Our, our secret greeting is now Q! Because they guess Q like every five seconds. <laughs> it's an insider between me and Rhonda. Yeah, the easy CPUs love to guess J and they love to guess Q. Oh, he's dancing in his backyard! Just having a bop. Yes, Lionel. Jinx, I owe you a root beer. Oh, that sounds good right now. Let's go. Wait, like a 20 gallon sombrero to block the sun, paired with something I like to call yoga shorts. Yeah, Lionel's just like an old man that lives in our town now. Like, he like retired here and everybody else is like young and hip. So. Looking for a rap session? Oh, he has the music hobby. How hot. Let's talk. I don't think I would ever rap with you, Lionel, but... There's some buzz going around about the guest at the island campsite. Okay. Under normal circumstances, I'd be jealous, but it's nice to shake things up a little bit around here. You've only lived here for, like, a day. Oh... I still can't believe that his birthday is tomorrow. That's like the funniest thing. I don't even think it's on the bulletin board because he moved in too close. Like, he moved in too soon before his birthday for there to be a formal announcement at the beginning of the week. It's just funny. It's big fun. I'm gonna check just to see though. Just to see. Yeah, the last announcement is from the bug off. So, Lionel just living the life, I guess. I'm so happy with our little pool area. I really wanted something like this to be around my house. How's it going? It's good. Do yeah. we really not put anything on your sense but like, we put the SNES games on the NES one too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't sure. I think so, because I'm pretty sure I was like, at first I said something like, oh, we don't need to do that. And you're like, yeah, but do you really want to, like, plug the other one in? I might have said that. And I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. Well, now you'll have all the things on the one. So now True. you'll be able to emulate all the stuff. So. True. Shh. Okay, I won't tell anybody. You guys are in. Yeah, you guys are in on this. You guys are in. I'm totally fine. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sell this stuff. And then change the town tune to something new. I want to do something beachy. And I have an idea. I know. Alright, I'm selling the apple tree. Rip. Alright, anyway. Um, am I going to continue the cosplay masquerade? Probably eventually. I just got so sick of every time we played, it was like all loading screens. Um, that I just wanted to have like a chill time to enjoy the summer festivities on the game and relax more with the stream. Um, and so, and I was trying to figure out like a better way of doing things, but I've just been taking a break from that. So that'll eventually come back, I just don't know when. But yeah. And it's, it just sucks because, like, the loading of this game is so long and you can't just, like, make a room, invite everybody to it, and then they're all there. 
It's like one at a time. And it's like fine for one visitor, but when you have eight people in a row and then there's a communication error and then blah, 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 it's like that gets really, really rough really fast. All right, change the island tune. So, so naturally I'm going to mute all of the notes. Oh, you're doing another concert? No, actually, I'm just gonna use my own idea. Why? No, I didn't know you were though. Like for the music? Yeah. Well, lately I, I have, but lately no one's been participating, so I think everybody's a little scared, and no one's been participating, so I'm just doing it myself this That's time. Fair. So, um. I get It's the same one again. Okay, I need to space it out. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. There we go. Perfect. We've got Yoshi's Island from Mario Party. Woohoo! Yeah. Da -da 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 I wanted to make it beachy. I also didn't want to limit people by being like, okay, pick anything, but it has to be a beach theme. So I was like, whatever, I'll just do it. No, I didn't recognize it! Here, I'll talk to a villager, because Isabel's singing is, like, the worst, so... Okay, that was not a good I that was not a good example either cuz that was all out of tune. No, wait. He like put it in like a minor key. Here, we'll just go to the Dodos. They do the best job. They always do the best job, which is funny. Right, I'm running over all these flowers. What are you thinking of, Cookie? Oh my god, I do not want to catch you a horse mackerel. Fine. Alright, we gotta go catch Cookie a horse mackerel after this. And then I'm probably gonna call it a stream after that because my my tummy is rumbly. Oh. I've got a rumbly in my tumbly. Food sounds good. I know, I'm hungry. And we've done a lot on the island today. I did want to work on the island. I've been wanting to do that for like the past two or three streams and just have not gotten to it. Or it's been like nighttime and it's kind of dark and it's not as easy to like tell what's going on. So, oh no, the whole reason I talked to you was so we could hear the tune. Hold on. No, it's not gonna do it. Well, hopefully you guys heard it. I just talked through it. But da 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 is our theme. So you can definitely recognize it with Cookie. All right, I'll check. I'll I'll check in with her again. There we go. Yeah, I can hear it with her. What did you want? She has like a jazzy. Yeah, she has like a jazzy version. Alright, we're gonna go try and catch her a horse mackerel really quick. And see how this goes. Which we haven't done a lot of like fishing or bug catching in a long time. I guess next time that could be something to focus on because it'll be nighttime and that's when like a lot of the like really expensive beetles are out. It'd be fun to go on, like, Mystery Island tours and do that, too. So maybe we'll do that um, on Saturday. We'll do a little bit of, like, bug and fish hunting because I have not done that in forever, and I know I'm behind on that now. Um, and I know we were talking about that earlier, too. So. That's not... Yeah. What are you trying to sing? Yeah, we can try with Cherry, too. 
she's probably I just sounds like it. home. I have no idea what you're talking about, Odie. I don't know what. Oh, thanks, check in. I appreciate that. I hope it's entertaining enough for you guys to watch me just like work on my island. There you go. You can hear it really well with Cherry. Ooh, I've been having really weird dreams lately. Maybe a hint to the dream sweet. Anyway. Um, okay, let's go run to this other side of the beach. Horse mackerels are not that hard to find. So hopefully... You never said what you're singing, Odie. Oh, it's a busty little thing. Oh my god! Lionel singing! I don't even know where this music is playing from. Oh, it just looks like he's singing like all by himself. Like that's the island theme. It's playing like way over in the pool area, but not anywhere near here. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Oh, Lionel's so sweet. Just singing in his backyard. You know, he just has really good hearing. Yeah, even though he's an old man, he has really good hearing, you guys. Just a dapper lion being cute. So cute. Oof. I just got aged. Why? What happened? Let's just say. It's funny that you started YouTube the year I was born. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> I just got aged. Hey, they shouldn't even be leaving a comment. You're supposed to be 13. Yeah, you're supposed to be 13. That's so funny. Okay, none of these are horse mackerels, you guys. It's just weird because, like, you know, I, I used to think, you know, I used to babysit kids that were born in 2000 when I was, like, a teenager. Like, in, early, in my early teens, like, 13, 14, 15, like, I babysat um, kids that were, like, born in 2000. And now it's like, oh my god, kids that were born in 2000 are turning 20 this year. Like, they're almost old enough to drink. I'm they like, are old enough huh? Canada. In Canada, not here, but. Hey, you need to move out of the way, Stitches. Yeah, Lionel could hear that poolside music all the way from his clifftop house. That's skill. Alright, I'm only circling this one more time, Cookie, and if I don't find a horse mackerel, you're not getting one. So, you're gonna ha have to catch your own freaking fish. Uh, I just can't. I can't deal with it. Of course, there's a freaking gift balloon. Yeah, because this is too small. This fish is way too small. And this is like not even, this is probably a freaking sucker fish or whatever. Yeah, a dang sucker fish. And there goes my fishing rod. Okay, forget it, Cookie. I'm, I'm sorry, it's not happening. You're gonna have to get over it. <sighs> I guess I'll try and shoot this down though. Or I won't because I... Okay, never mind. I was like, or I don't have a slingshot in my pocket for some reason. Everything just falling apart. Alright. This is... Wow. That is not what I wanted. Can I favorite this somewhere? Okay. Cool. Cool beans. Alright, guys. Well, I think that we are gonna just close it out there because I'm not gonna 
run around for two hours trying to find a freaking horse mackerel. Um, oh, I have Vanna White energy going on right now. Thanks, Pixie. I know, with my, my solid um, seashell dress. Um, yeah. All right, so I am going to roll my credits, though. We had quite a few people give bits earlier, so I want to make sure to recognize them. Um, if I can find my credits, here we go. This has not been wanting to load properly lately, and I don't know why. Um, so let's go ahead and roll this to our beach music. And it actually did function correctly today, so that's good news. So thank you for the bits. All right, Angelia, Casanova64, Mr. Wario, StarDev94. Thank you to my mods who are here today. And always to the new followers, Chocolate Cookie 8, KCAT, and Dory. Thank you guys so much for the follows. I appreciate it so much. Thank you to everybody who's been actively here in chat. Um, sorry we didn't have as much interaction on the island today. I didn't visit anybody. This is just something I've been wanting to do for a long time is work on um, some island design stuff and just have kind of a day of focusing on that and getting things in order. So uh, I think what we will do on Saturday though is we'll probably do more um, like bug catching because we aren't really messed with that much. Uh, especially with all the new beetles that have been introduced this month that I've like barely touched on. Uh, maybe do some fishing, maybe go to an island or two. Um, and so that'll be a chill time as well. But uh, thank you to Odie who um, helped me answer Scott Man's Patreon question earlier. So super no shout out problem. to Scott Man. Um, and super shout out to all my patrons on Patreon uh, for the month of July. I love you all and thank you for your extra support for this month and each month uh, prior to this as well. So, and shout out to my new patrons too. Um, okay, so I'm going to see if there is anybody online, and if not, we'll just go ahead and pop off, I guess. Um, gonna pop off. Yeah, huh? we're gonna just bop, pop, whatever. All right, literally, like, no one is on again. Zero! All right, fine. We out, ladies. All right, be sure to uh, check me out. Um, on Twitter if you're not already and join my discord if you guys want to um, share your own Animal Crossing things there and also uh, interact with each other that's probably the best way to do that if you have any like trades or anything you want to do um, but I will see you guys on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern with Friday Night Mario Party it's Friday Night Mario Party 5 this time so we're back to Mario Party 5 I will see you guys then Odie and I may be having some pop-up streams this week, too. Just a, a warning. Um, so if you see something go up randomly throughout the week, that's what that is. So hopefully, no promises, but just to give a little bit of a heads up so that you guys know there's some possibility of it. So love you all so much. Thank you for joining me. Bye!